welcome back to Dimitra's Dishes. So today I'm going to be bringing to you a classic Greek dish that's actually introduced, um, it's actually a Turkish dish that's been welcomed by the Greeks and we enjoy it and love it and I want to share it with you today. It's vegetarian and can completely be made vegan by, by just leaving out the feta cheese but if you're not worried about making it ve vegan make sure you add it because it just, it just makes it more delicious. It's called uh, Melidanes Imam in Greek, which translates to Imam Bayalidi. I hope I'm pronouncing it right. But basically, Imam Bayalidi means the priest fainted. Um, they don't know if he fainted because it was so good or because it was so rich. Because it is a vegetarian dish, but um, this can totally be served as a main course because it's very filling and it's pretty heavy. So make sure you serve this up with a nice side salad and some toasted bread and um, you'll be really, really happy. Let's go over the ingredients and then we're gonna get started. Of course, you're gonna need eggplants. Um, you can, this recipe is traditionally made, you can make it for as many as you want. I'm gonna make it for one today. So I have two eggplants here, don't know why. But we have an eggplant. I'm adding my twist on it. So I'm adding potato to this some kalamata olives that I've sliced right over here, some chopped garlic, feta cheese, crushed red peppers, oregano, salt, pepper, a tomato, and then crushed, this is tomato sauce that doesn't have any seasoning in it, no salt, nothing else. And then I have some oil that's heating up over here. This is vegetable oil that I'm gonna fry the eggplant in. And I've sliced half an onion since I'm only making one. This is gonna make the delicious sauce that it's gonna be stuffed in. So I'm going to begin by turning the heat on underneath this pan with the onions and I'm going to put a little bit of olive oil in here to get the onions going. You want your oven preheated at 400 degrees and this is all going to come together at the same time. The time it takes for the eggplant to fry, the onions will be done in the, simultaneously and then everything can go in the oven together. So now we're just going to put some oil and a little bit of salt that helps the onions break down. And I always start it off on a high heat. Once it gets going, I just reduce it to like a medium. And we're gonna cook the onions until they're really nice and caramelized. Now, this is traditionally fried, and I'm, go and, and I'm gonna fry it too. Um, it just tastes so much better. The eggplant is so juicy. If you really wanna make this, make kind of like a healthier version, go ahead and bake it in the oven, and we're really, we bake it for as long as we pretty much fry it. We fry it until it's really nice and soft, and if you were to bake it, bake it until it's really, really nice and soft and falling apart. But you want to make sure before you bake it or fry it, you pierce it, or it, it will explode on you. So pierce it really well. I'm going to put this in the oil that's really nice and hot. And I'm just going to cover this a little bit, mostly, leaving just a little bit uh, uncovered so that way it doesn't steam and it fries. And that's going to take about 15 to 20 minutes. I'm going to turn it every now and then so that way it cooks evenly all around. Now, while that's happening, I'm going to take my baking dish right here and I'm just going to slice this potato. Just a few slices. I'm going to put it in this baking dish. Just going to take a little bit of this olive of this oil right here. And I'll just season my potatoes with salt, pepper, and oregano. And we always do both sides. And the potatoes are gonna add are gonna act like a base and it's almost like that moussaka, if you ever had moussaka, the potato and the eggplant just goes so well together. It's not traditional, but I'm, when I was testing this recipe, I served it to my friends and they were wondering if, if this is served with potato. And I thought, that's a great idea. And when I, taste, when I recipe tested again, it just came out so great that I thought, this is a must. So I'm gonna set this aside. My onions are going. Oil is nice and hot. I'm just going to reduce the heat to a medium. And then as this is frying, I'm just going to continue to turn it every now and then until the eggplant is completely nice and soft and fully cooked. And I'll show you what that looks like when we're there. 
Okay, so what we're going to do now, the onions are really beautifully caramelized. I'm just going to add the garlic in here and cook it for a few minutes on low. Just about two, three minutes. And I kind of went a little bit far with my onions, so go, don't let them get as brown as I did. I mean, they'll still be good, but if they were to get a little bit more brown than this, then they would be almost burnt. So go a little bit lighter with the with the heat. So we're just going to cook the garlic just two, three minutes until it gets really nice and aromatic. This will cook in the oven for an hour, so they'll, they'll break down a little bit more in there. Okay, so once the garlic is cooked, I'm just going to add a little bit of this tomato sauce. If you don't have tomato sauce, you can just um, get any tomato and either grate it, or if you have like diced canned tomatoes in your pantry, or whole canned tomatoes, just puree them. All you need is a little bit a little bit more than like a half cup, almost three quarters of a cup, but I'll put the, the, the exact measurements in the, on the website. It's always there. And then we're just going to add a little bit of salt, some crushed red pepper flakes. If you don't like too much heat, go ahead and add just some black pepper. And I'm also going to put a little bit of oregano in here. And that's it. The filling is done. I'm just going to turn off the heat and let it hang out here. The eggplant should also be ready. Let's check it out. Be careful now. You want to have a sponge and a towel ready at all times because every time you're going to go to flip over the eggplant, oil is going to fly out of the pan somehow, so just be prepared for that. Now, this, you'll know the eggplant is ready when the back side of it is all completely nice and soft. And that's done. It kind of shrivels up and wrinkles. So we're just going to take it and we're going to put it right over our potatoes right here. And I'm just going to cut into it. Look at that. Oh, that is so beautiful. You can't get it this way if you're not frying it. I mean, it'll still get soft and everything, but before you go ahead and make it the baked way, give this one try. It's, it's, you'll, you won't regret it. It's delicious. And now we're just going to season the inside of it lightly with some salt and some black pepper. Just like that. And then we're going to take this delicious sauce that we made and we're going to fill the eggplant. going to crumble some feta cheese over this. I didn't taste my sauce, but you could taste your sauce before you add it in here and see if it needs a little bit of more salt. If your tomatoes are a little bit acidic, you can sprinkle just a tiny bit of sugar on top of it. So I'm going to put my um, olives, that's what these are, my sliced kalamata olives on here. Use any olives you have, any olives that you like. And then I'm going to take this tomato and I'm just going to cut some slices. I'm just going to lay them on top. Now the other day I made this and I didn't have these big tomatoes. So I just like, I always have cherry tomatoes in my refrigerator. I love to put them in salad. So what I did was I just cut them in half and put them on top. Really, you can do whatever, use whatever you have. And then we're just going to season the tomatoes. You want to season each layer. Just tomatoes with a little bit of salt and a tiny bit of pepper. And if you want to, you can just put a tiny bit of dried oregano. My oven is preheated to 400 degrees. I'm going to put this in here and let it bake uncovered for exactly an hour. And then the juices will release and it'll get even more caramelized. The it's just going to be beautiful. I'll show you what it looks like as soon as it comes out. Okay, so the eggplant cooked for exactly an hour at 400 degrees, the eggplant with the potatoes, and this is exactly what you want it to look like. You want the tomatoes to have really caramelized and cooked completely. The, all, the eggplant will have released its juices and oil and just like cooked down even more, and it's just smelling fantastic in here. Serve this with some nice, good, hearty toasted bread. I have over here some olive bread. 
I have the recipe for my version of this on the website and I'll put the link down below. It's really easy to make. But serve it with your favorite bread, a nice green salad. I have up here some baby greens just with olive oil and some tomatoes and Greek cheese. This is kefara graviera, which is similar to like a Parmesan cheese. So go ahead and use your favorite cheese, but it goes really nice with the salad because it's really nice and rich. Let me cut into this so I could show you what it looks like. The eggplant should be almost melted. Let me move the tomatoes aside. Look at that. I don't know, there's something about the brininess and the chewing texture of the olives and the delicious creaminess of the cheese. This dish is going to be just delightful. And along with the potatoes, the potatoes should be fully cooked also at this point. I'll take a bite into this and hopefully I won't burn my mouth. We get some potato. There's that beautiful tomato sauce with the caramelized onions. I have some feta and let me get an olive. You know what, I'll take a little piece of bread too. You will not miss the meat, I promise. So, so flavorful, so delicious. Give it a try, like I said, give it a try fried. You'll really, really appreciate it. I'll put the recipe in the link in the description, the link to the recipe in the description box down below. Let me know what you want to learn how to make next and let me know what you think after you make this. I will see you guys next time. Thank you for spending time with me. Bye everyone.